spent, and if anything, climate control has caused most of the problems we have today. So I don't really understand the new leadership. We need leaders who are basically thinking about the shareholders and their, their employees and how well the shareholders are doing and their employees. And I think today it's all about woke, uh, diversity, uh, things that don't hit the bottom line. Mm. And if we're going to have those people, uh, we'll see a change. Uh, unfortunately, I don't see it on us. Uh, you know, we saw a, a slight win for the Republicans, but it's only a small one in the House, especially. And I don't see anything good coming out of it. There's one thing I don't understand, Stuart. Too. Maybe you could explain it to me. Uh, we have this recession we're talking about. People are being laid off. But I can tell you right now, after some meetings I had yesterday, you can't hire people. They don't want to work. Nobody wants to work anymore, especially in office people. They want to work three days a week. It's incredible. And, and uh, how do you have a recession when you have people that don't want jobs. There are plenty of jobs out there. You, I, I'm very how, much how do you this? But, but, but how do you explain this? How do you explain the, the attitude of this young generation? Because clearly, you don't think much to them, do you? How do you explain why they are like they are? Well, they're entitled. Uh, they give everything. And the government, in many cases, if you don't work, you get as much money as when you did work. So, Stuart, if I'm, if I'm say in a situation where I have to go work 40, 40 hours a week, and I'm paid money to stay home, and it's equivalent to what I would earn, why do I want to go to work? Fair enough. And so you get this laziness, which you have, and it's basically a socialistic society and pretty soon, I know in Job Creators Network, I started to tell you, um, most small businesses make up the business of the United States. 70% of the people who are working today work for small businesses. That's 70%. There, right now, we just did a survey recently, 60% of the small businesses believe they will not be here in the future. In other words, they're not going to be able to make it. Now, why are they not going to be able to make it? Number one, inflation. Number two, they can't get people to work. Yeah. I mean, you take the piece of your stuff. You can't find anybody to work. He's working 12, 14, okay. 18 hours a day, and he may not be able to make it. Then you throw in all these absurd rules that you have to follow in every state has some dumb, dumber than dumber. You know, New York, in fact, uh, leads the country, maybe in dumb. No, maybe not. Maybe the second to California. <laughs> but, but, I'm, I'm flat out of time, I'm afraid to say. But you, sir, are a legend. And uh, we love to hear what you've got to say. And we appreciate it. Bernie Marcus, thanks so much for joining us, Bernie. Please come Thank again. Thank you. I'll give you more time. I will. Yeah. Thank you. Speaker McCarthy wants...